Thanks for checking out Be Your Own Webmaster. This is an unscripted show wherein I document a different tool, tip, or technique for finally taking control of that WordPress website. My name is Anthony Wagner, and I've been a WordPress webmaster for over 10 years. And in this version of the show, this edition of the show, we're going to talk about a question that I found in a WordPress group that I'm in on Facebook. This is something I'm going to try to do more frequently. I think this will be helpful going in, seeing questions that come up and answering them on video. Uh, just as a quick reminder, all the techniques in this video are built on WordPress, and two of my favorite tools for working with WordPress are SiteGround for hosting and Divi for design and theme. If you want a quick, affordable hosting platform that actually is really darn fast, uh, you'll want to check out SiteGround. And if you want an incredible, robust, yet simple tool for designing your site, Divi is the way to go. The links, of course, are in the description. All right, let me just scoop myself on out of the way. And let's look at this comment from a group I'm in on Facebook called WordPress Hub, WordPress Help for Beginners. These are great, actually. These are great tools for getting your WordPress questions answered. There's also one for Divi. I'll probably do Divi videos as well. But I discovered this um, video this morning, or this post this morning in the group. And it says from, I believe the name is uh, Sumit, maybe. Um, he, or let's use they, I don't want to assume gender. They ask, after migrating site to localhost, I'm getting this error. Can anyone share a solution? And the site, the error that's showing up is this theme or the theme directory academia does not exist. So first of all, let's dig into this a little bit. After migrating site to localhost, I did a video on setting up a, um, uh, a site in a local test environment, meaning a, a, uh, putting a WordPress website on your computer so you don't have to pay for hosting or anything to get your, to test a site. So it's great if you want to like, if you have an existing site and you want to test um, one separately and you want to build out a whole new one and then just migrate it back. It's great if you just want to have like a sandbox to play in. Um, so it's before you want to pay for anything, things like that. Local sites are great. And that's what this person is asking. They're saying they migrated a site to local host, meaning they took it offline. Um, this isn't the way I would describe it, but this is my interpretation of what they said. They took, they had a site online. So for example, www.examplesite.com. They copied all the files, they moved it to a local site, and they're getting this error. error. The theme directory academia does not exist. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Uh, that's a work thing. Now, the question I have <laughs> is... Yep, I want to launch Bitnami, which is the, um, I did a whole video on setting this up, uh, on setting up a local site, but I don't remember where the files are. So I'm going to open the application folder. And this is not necessarily your workflow. I just need to get to the, um, the WordPress files. So uh, I'm in this WordPress folder, and then I always have to dig this out. It's likely going to be under maybe apps. Yep, WordPress, htdocs. Okay, these are the WordPress files. Now, you might be wondering, how the heck did I know to click through all these folders to get to this? Well, it's really just experience. I've been doing WordPress development for a really long time. And so the folders that are here didn't make sense and the apps one did. And then I know that when it set this up from when I did the video, it set up, a, it put it in a WordPress folder. Uh, and then it put, I know from working with WordPress for forever that htdocs is usually the case where the, um, the files for WordPress are stored. So this is the, the common WordPress set of files, right? Um, it, this also applies to a live site. So let me just show you really fast. Let me actually head into SiteGround. I'm going to pause the video really quick so I can log in without uh, pulling up my credentials. One sec. Okay, I'm logged into my SiteGround account and um, I'm gonna actually come into the site tools for this test. I have a bunch of sites on here. I'm gonna come into the site tools for this test. And what I want, I can either go into to a FTP uh, situation where I can come in with FileZilla, but I, I need to see the files. The easiest way is to just come to the file manager in your back end. You probably have a cPanel um, if you're working with most other hosts. SiteGround has this kind of simplified thing. So we're going to just choose file manager. And then on most public sites, they're going to have a public HTML folder. And if you click into that, it's the same set of content. So this, these files here that I showed you a second ago, these are for a local site, a site that I set up. So let me just really fast open Bitnami. 
I'm going to start those servers. I'm going to choose manage. Oh, they're already running. They, they turned on automatically. So now if I, here, I'm going to bring this back and choose go to application and then hit access WordPress. And it's going to take me to a demo site that I set up for a video. This is just a demo site. I, I installed it and got it set up. It's a little slow, which is, it's okay. Um, but it should be, everything should be good. I think from when I left it. So we'll give that a second to load. And then I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to go to this site, which is the other, um, website that I set up. This one is online anthony w9.sg host that's a temporary domain and it looks like this this is the one i've built most of my other videos on this you know this footer and stuff i've done most of my other videos this is one that's online now that just has divi installed you can see there are different sites right um, i'm logged in on this one that's why this bar is here i'm not on this one but overall there are two different websites this one here with this b favicon uh, is my local one it means it only exists on my computer in both cases though the reason i bring these up these are the files for the online site. These are the files for the offline site. And I'm going to close out of this work folder because I don't need it and it's in the way. You'll see that even though they're in different places, the file structure is pretty, this, pretty much the same. WP admin, WP content, WP includes, HT access, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and it's got all these same files because WordPress is based on the same set of files on the whole. Now, Let's open the WP content folder. You'll see in both cases, offline and online, it's got a plugins, a themes, and an uploads folder. Those are the, the common ones. There's other stuff too, um, depending on what I have installed, but plugins, themes, and uploads are gonna be the, the similar folder structure here. I'm gonna just look at the offline files now. Let's move this into garbage, it's for work, and move that, that off just because it bugs me when it's on the screen. Um, let's look at themes. So what this error is actually saying, bring this back up, the theme directory academia does not exist. So where this person is running into trouble is that the, the WordPress um, installation is looking for the academia theme and it's not in this folder. So let me see if I can get it to throw the same error um, for this offline site. So right now the offline site is using Divi. So let's rename I don't know if this is going to be exact. Remember, this is unscripted, but I'm going to rename the folder to divi-old. WordPress is told, go to the folder divi, spelled exactly that way, and get all the theme files. But if I rename it, I'm telling it that there's no directory there. So if I refresh this, it should now, it, it'll do one of two things. It'll either revert back to one of the default themes, the 2019. So I might try to see if I can force it to do that. It might revert back. It might do something like this, wherein it's just not showing anything. Um, let me do this, and I'm just going to put an archive folder and move those there um, so that there's nothing for it to reference. And what it's doing is it's broken. It's, it's, it's not pulling that error. So in this particular user's set of circumstances, uh, they might be logged in. Something might be going on. Right now, it's got no theme to work off of, so it's not throwing that. The other thing I wonder is if, I don't know if I can do this without a theme being installed, I might be able to. Yeah, it actually is letting me, which is interesting. So I'm logged in and under appearance themes, it's giving me this Divi directory does not exist. That's why it's flipping out. And it's saying that there's an active theme that doesn't exist. So this user is likely getting something like that. You need to go in to this folder, which is your root folder for your WordPress installation. Go to WP content, go to themes and make sure that in this case, academia exists. In my case, I need to put back Divi and it should bring back, if I refresh this now, it'll stop flipping out. See, and there it goes. Um, I couldn't replicate this exactly, but that is my best guess as to what the heck is going on with this particular issue. So um, yeah, that's I think what's happening here and it also gives you a little tour of the, um, the folder structure inside of WordPress. So. Uh, Sumit, I believe is probably the way to pronounce your name. I hope this video helps. This is unsolicited. You had no idea I was about to do this. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's how this um, the structure works. And I think you've either got some things to check just as a quick aside. Make sure the spelling is correct. Uh, make sure that the capitalization is correct. I believe they're case sensitive. Well, let's test that out and see what happens. So if I come back into themes and rename Divi to lowercase Divi, does it break everything? 
Yeah, it actually, it did create something separate, um, but I think it's still pulling from it. It figured it out, but I believe case sensitivity is usually important. So just in general, make sure that in your case, academia has all lower um, and make sure all the files are there. Um, but for the most part, that's what that error suggests to me. So uh, I think that's all I really can say on this particular issue. Um, I genuinely hope that this was helpful and I hope for the user's sake that you were able to use this video to troubleshoot the problem. Um, and I'd love to hear what you think. So if this helped you feel like you were more in control of that WordPress website, you're on your way to being a WordPress webmaster, I'd love to know. Please drop those comments, any thoughts, questions in the comments below, including your suggestions for future content. And remember, check out SiteGround and Divi. The links are in the description. And uh, as I've said before, those links are affiliate links and they will generate a small commission for me if you do use them. I would greatly appreciate your support and and it won't cost you a dime extra to use those links as opposed to any on the web. So your support is greatly appreciated as I continue to produce videos for this show. Until next time, my name is Anthony Wagner, and I thank you so, so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.